Welcome to the tutorial on the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. The National Library of Virtual Manipulatives is an NSF supported project that began in 1999 to develop a library of uniquely interactive web-based virtual manipulatives or concept tutorials mostly in the form of Java applets for mathematics instruction with a K-12 emphasis. The National Library of Virtual Manipulatives is a resource from which teachers may freely draw to enrich their mathematics classrooms. The library is actively being extended and refined through projects including the ENLVM, a project to develop interactive online learning units for mathematics. Let's take a look at how the site works. I'm going to be teaching number and operations to 7th graders. You will notice the grid on the screen. Down the left hand side are your categories and across the top are your grade bands. So I'm going to go across number and operations to the 6-8 block. Left click in the block. This will open up all of your virtual manipulatives for number and operations that are appropriate for grades 6 through 8. Now you can scroll down And as you scroll, you can see the many different choices that you have for virtual manipulatives in the grade band. Let's click on Base Blocks for Addition. Before we get into the manipulative, let's see what else is available to us on this screen. In the top left-hand corner, we have the option to go back. The next option says Parent Teacher. Let's click on that. After clicking on Parent Teacher, to the right opens up an information box. This information box is useful for the teacher as well as parents as they begin working with students with this particular virtual manipulative. After reading the information provided, click Close. Let's click on Standards. When clicking on Standards, this brings us to the window for the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, where you can then explore standards to help write your lesson plans or better understand the mathematical concept. We will close this window and return to our manipulative. The final choice on this page are the instructions. By clicking on instructions, it will bring up a box to the right that explains how this particular manipulative works. Scroll through to see all the directions. And when you're ready, click on close. Let's solve this problem. 83 plus 78. The first thing we need to do is work with our ones. We have three ones and eight ones. If we drag two more ones to the bottom, that will give us a 10. By left clicking and dragging a box around those, that will group that into a 10 strip. You will see that it also shows you the carrying of the one. We can then drag that into our tens area, leaving us with one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens down here, and we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens at the top. Let's take two from the top and drag them to the bottom and group them to make a one hundreds block. We then move the one hundreds block to the 100s category and you will see that we have now solved the problem with 161. Students would continue working through problems by clicking on next problem. As you move forward the problems will become more difficult. If you would like to use a problem that you are working on in class simply click create problem at the top add how many pieces by clicking multiple times you would like and then at the bottom drag down what you would like at the bottom until you have created your problem. You also have the option in this particular manipulative to add decimal places, to change it from base 10, and to remove columns. Let's go back to our main screen. 
We have some other options while on this screen. We just pick the number and operations in the 6th through 8th grade strand area. Perhaps we'd like to see all number and operations virtual manipulatives. Then we would click on the word number and operations. That would then take us to this page where all of those manipulatives are displayed. And we could scroll through and see all the different grade bands and what's available to us. This is especially useful if you have students that are working below or above the grade level in which you are currently teaching. Our last option from the home screen is to look at a particular grade band. For teaching in the 6th through 8th grade range, we can click on the 6-8 and see all the manipulatives that are appropriate for that grade band. Then we are able to scroll through and look at all those manipulatives. It is definitely worth looking at the grades above and below the current level in which you teach. It may help solidify concepts your students were shaky on when they started this school year with you or help reinforce concepts as they move into grades further down the road. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives.